Hmm. It's been a hot while since I've like sat and drawn too, but like I will say that I do um I do use my tablet a lot more because it's my second monitor. Yeah. Same here. I use my tablet as a monitor. Wow. They're buddies. <laughs> I, I fucking love drawing this shit. Orbit. Hell yeah. So I not just out of curiosity, how long have you been drawing for? Like how long in have terms I been of like years? For? Yeah. Well, uh, like, actually trying art? Oh, it's just drawing in general, like, I guess. Okay, that's a little hard to, uh, to try to track down, because, like, I remember drawing, like, wilds ago. I mean, I guess I've been drawing since I was a wee bingy, but, um... Yeah. I remember I got my first drawing tablet from my computer back in, like, 2016. Oof. Yeah. And the first thing I drew was a duck. A duck? Actually, it's a Canadian goose, but whatever. I'm actually Canadian goose, you fucking doofus. Aw, these guys are a little cute. I, I'm actually really happy with how, like, this guy turned out. He looks like a little friend. <sighs> yeah. You got Gorbo and Gippo. This one is... Gor... Gorbo. Gorbo. That's Gorbo. Yeah, it's Gorbo. This one is... There you go. Gippo. Gippo only has one arm. <laughs> That's why they're friends. Yeah, like, right. Gorbo Because Gorbo the can, like, pick arm. up shit for uh, Gippo, and Gippo can just give him, like, eternal thumbs-ups. But what if, Odd Fox, oh. what if... In a dangerous world, in a multiverse world... He was angry. <laughs> no. And he was he was worried. <laughs> He's got a little beads of sweat too, just like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good warm up, I think. Yeah, this is a good warm up. I was thinking about drawing our, our beautiful mugs. Yeah, you wanna do that again? That's the warm up. Yeah, we can draw our beautiful mugs. Alright. Uh, do you wanna draw yourself or do you wanna draw oh. each other again? Let's draw each other again. Okay. Uh <laughs> Let's be little little art friends and all right. Draw each other. Uh, crack my fingers. Yeah, my <sighs> fucking fingers are withering away. You won't be able to hear it, Odd Fox, but people in the video will. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a huge crack. I didn't oh, hear dude. your bones. Snap. There are there are many days where I'm like hanging out with my partner and I just like pull my thumb slightly and just a <laughs> will happen. Big old <laughs> yeah, right. Just a <laughs> and they're like, did you? break your fucking thumb and I'm like no no I it's just a lot of air between my thumb socket what the fuck do I do for you what what did I do last time I g gave you like a big arm last time didn't I yeah you drew me like a big old fucking goblin all right uh I'll draw yeah, you as, draw a, you as a, a I drew you as a handsome man I guess I'll draw you as a big buff handsome man and I'll, I'll draw you mewing is that what the kids say mewing now <laughs> <laughs> I'm mewing. so fucking out of the loop, genuinely. I have no idea what's going on in the world. I I only know about like mewing because of that video of uh the fucking dude like making the horse shush and like put put his finger across like its jawline. Oh that yeah, that's kinda what I'm exactly and thinking. Of. Mewing the horse. I'm trying to figure out like how to move the Oh like move around and I don't know, I just use the mouse to zoom out and kind of like move Oh the wait. Oh wait, I see the little hand tool. Okay, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. Speaking of little hand tool, uh, I used my little hand tools on my person earlier this week. This week? What day is it today? Today is the 16th? Yeah. Yes, earlier this week. To uh, go and obtain myself a new 3DS XL. Woohoo. So I'm finally joining the world of 2013. I've caught up to the year 2013 in my gaming endeavors. <laughs> Cause like the last console that I bought well, technically was my PlayStation 1. But I'm gonna count it as like my Xbox 360. So I was up to like 2008 at least for a while. And now I'm now I'm finally bouncing up to 2013. You're moving in the world, Brad. I really am. I've been playing a lot of Luigi's Mansion too, because of the because like my partner was so nice to to 
get me a 3DS from a pawn shop, but it kind of broke. But um, I found a new 3DS XL on Facebook Marketplace for like half the asking price of literally everywhere else. So I was like, fucking why not? This looks nothing My like little- you, I'm sorry. <laughs> My little creative juices are kind of dry. Yeah, I mean, how long has it been since you draw? Since you done done did the doodle last? The doodle? Fuck. <laughs> like that's honestly like a tough question to answer. Yeah, no doubt. It's been a it's been a hot while since I've last drawn. I've been too busy playing video games on my Nintendo Switch and 3DS now. I I've, I've been absorbed by fucking work and Warframe. Yeah, fuck it. I've been seeing you play Warframe a lot, and I'm, like, worried for your health. Because, like, it, it honestly, like, fucking this, absorbed my life. This fucking sucks, dog. I'm having a bad time drawing you mewing. This was fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking ugly, to be honest. Like, I'm not happy with this at all. But I'm still, like, gonna work on it. I want to make it look fucking good, though. Like, objectively, it's good, but, like, fuck, I don't- I'm not happy with it. Like, um, <laughs> how familiar are you with, like, Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball? Yeah. Uh, I, I've watched, like, all of the, like, the original one, where it's just, like, little Goku. There's this, like, one like, guy from, through, like, I think, Dragon Ball Z that has three eyes, and I'm kind of drawing you exactly like him. Oh, Tin Shin on? Uh, I think that's yes, his name? Yes, yes, that's his name, yeah. I had to look him up really quickly. <laughs> but yeah, I'm drawing you as, like, that guy. But instead of, like, instead of being, like, a Dragon Ball character, he was, like, part furry instead. I mean, there is, like, a, a furry fox in Dragon Ball. I mean, isn't original series Goku, like, also part monkey? Yeah. So, like, that that show objectively can be, like, you can confidently say that that's, like, a furry show. Okay, now I just yep. have to, like, figure out how to fucking draw this idea of mine. Because I kind of have, like, the fundamentals of it going, but I need to, like, figure out the rest of it. Uh, so you better be fucking I, nice to me, otherwise I will cry. <laughs> uh, you remember that one fucking like buff guy that like he turned around real funny and he had the um bandana on his head and like I think he had like the American speedo or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> that's kind of what who I'm drawing you as right now, but it, it looks nothing like you. <laughs> so just imagine like Odd Fox features on like a big buff Ricardo man. Oh my god. Yeah. It's honestly kind of handsome. That's how I imagine myself every day. I look at the mirror and just see. I just imagine myself as a buff, beautiful man, despite the fact that I do do not in fact have buff, beautiful features. Oh, I I'm just sure, have I'm beautiful sure you do, features. Odd Fox. You're a big buff boy. Hey, you're a buff boy, Odd You're Fox. a big buff boy, my friend. Anyone who's friends with me is a big buff boy. This, this guy, this is an Odd Fox. He's pretty buff. Believe me, he's a buff man. Wait, is it? Are you doing like a Trump impression? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been told that I have a really good one. That said to me, this, this Odd Fox guy, he's... He's absolutely handsome. He's one of the handsomest men I've ever seen. Better than, better than that crooked Biden. Better than Sleepy Biden. Better than Sleepy Joe. Better than Sleepy Joe. Better than corrupt Obama. He's one of the most handsome men I've ever seen. I honestly have wet dreams about him every night. All right, man. I think I fucking done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been done with you. Take a take a look at your handsome mug. Holy shit. Holy shit, I like that, like, I'm half buff, which is kind of accurate, to be honest. <laughs> I do also like my fucking American Dad Stan mouth. Yeah. <laughs> where he's got, like, the kind of- I actually oh was my... drawing Stan earlier. My god, I, I look like a fucking, like, a be- I do look like a beautiful boy. You are a very beautiful man. And you have beautiful this iconic three eyes, because you're, like, you've seen into the future or whatever Buddhists do. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you just did not. You gave me a third ear. Yeah, right. You gave me like, like human ears. There are so many fucking people body. that draw anime characters and anime furries where they're like normal anime girls, but they have the little cat ears. And I'm like, why does this fucking creature have four ears? What is the fucking tactical <laughs> advantage of that? Yeah. <laughs> you did not even. You did not even give him like any fox features at all. It's <laughs> outside the tail and the ears that you just put on. 
<laughs> I didn't put the tail in the right place. Theoretically, I should have put it like here. Yeah. But no, I was like, tee hee hee. What if it was like a fox? <laughs> what if Ten Shin Han was a fox? Tee hee. Right? Right? Uh, Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Alright, the wheel is spinning. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm so happy about that. The first one that the wheel got was Jason Voorhees. Oh, hell yeah. I love Jason. Also, my screen's at 100. Weird. It's quite odd. It's odd. quite odd fox, you could say. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm gonna destroy you. Alright. Um, did you ever... Are you interested in, like, fighting games at all? Fighting games? Yeah. Uh, I haven't... I don't personally play them. So I guess you don't really care for the fact that, like, Jason's in that Warner Brothers fighting game, hey? Oh, yeah. And then he, like, broke the game day one, as usual. I thought you were about to mention, like, Jason being in, uh, like, Mortal Kombat. I mean, that too. That That's also a Warner Brothers thing now, but... Yeah. No, it's the fact that he can, like, beat up Steven Universe now. You beat up Steven Universe and Iron Giant. Dude, I'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off if Smiling Friends gets added to that. Oh god, please. Because I would love I'm to just, play as a little I would love I to see like, like Glep be a top player character for like two weeks before he gets like a update that breaks him entirely. What are some of your favorite horror movies, Odd Fox? Uh Honestly, I do love the original Alien. That one's actually a really good one, yeah. Uh, I will say, I finally watched, in between the last uh, drawing show and now, I finally watched both the Mario movie and the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is actually quite literally the best chance, or the best video game adaptation I've ever seen in my life. It's unbelievably fucking delicious. Wait, did you say the Mario movie? Yeah. Because I'd never watched that. I, I watched the Mario movie. I, I of course, watched the fucking FNAF movie. Cause Everyone like, watched the like, FNAF movie. Wouldn't? It's fucking delicious. Like, it's FNAF in the theaters. Like, why wouldn't you watch that? Like, up up to the time of its release, right? I was like, this is going to be dog shit because Scott is fucking terrible at writing. But then I watched yeah. it and I was like, holy shit, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Which, have you seen the, um, the shit for the, uh... For the second movie? What the... Wait. Wait, what? Uh, during the 10th anniversary of FNAF, right? The, the Scott Games Twitter was, like, posting pictures uh, yeah. of the developments. And man, 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 the FNAF 2 movie has a very high to unbelievably impossible chance of fucking it up. There's no chance in hell that they're gonna fuck up the, the toy animatronics. Because they look yeah. fucking so good. I'm gonna be so sad if I, that movie is bad. I'm gonna be so fucking sad. I have a friend on my on my Twitter that like constantly thirsts after uh what's the fucking guy's name? Not Jigsaw, the puppet master. Of Saw. Or is it Jigsaw? Yes, Billy's the puppet, forgive me. Sorry, sorry, Saw fans. I know you guys get fucking stupid about that. Have you seen um Punch Punch Forever? Punch Punch Forever? No. Oh my god, dude, if you like Newground shit, watch Punch Punch. It's fucking delicious. I gotta. You gotta, bro. It's as good as, um, Bridge Kids. Really? Okay. It's as good right. as Bridge you, Kids. You got me hooked. Which, that, that, that re most recent episode of Bridge Kids is fucking delicious. <laughs> it's so funny. It's, oh I my god. I love how Bridge Kids... I love how Bridge Kids is literally like, like awkward conversations, like just tenfold. It's like all it's like the openings of Smiling Friends, the opening part to Smiling Friends, but just as a full episode instead of just like the opening. Yeah, it's good shit. It's good shit. We love you, Bridge Kids. At some point, I guess we'll have to do like a Bridge Kids episode, hey? Yeah. Maybe if they develop like and get some more fucking like characters in. I'm kind of drawing him like he looks in multiverses, but like, kind of shittier. I'm just drawing him looking stupid. <laughs> ah. hey, that's really easy to do, he kind of just does look stupid, but that's why I like him. Huh? Jason just kind of does look stupid, but that's kind of why I like him. 
Yeah. He's just this big, like, fuck-off like, guy. He's just this big fucking dude that, like, uh, just kills people. Dude, like, hangs out on a lake and is just like, my fucking one vacation was ruined, so now I'm gonna ruin all of your guys' fuck you. You guys are pissing me off. Fuck you. That is damn good. <laughs> yeah, he's literally just like the angry old man. He really is, but that's why we like him. Yeah. Angry old men are okay if they're fictional. Yeah, in real life, we just make fun. Yeah, right? We're like, we just call damn. Them You're fucking stupid. I gotta say, to go, to go back to the previous topic of conversation of, like, favorite horror movies, I gotta say that mine is, at the moment... It's a tie between either the Five Nights at Freddy's movie or, um... Fuck, I really haven't watched that many horror... Actually, that's not, not true. Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods is still my favorite. Cabin in the Woods? That's, I fucking love that's Cabin That's a fucking amazing... It's an amazing and amazing fucking movie. It's been eons since I've watched it, but it feels like, to me, it's one of those movies that, like, if I watch it again, I'm not gonna like it as much the first time. Because the first time, it's so heavily reliant on, like, the plot twist, right? Yeah. But... It is also one of those things where I like it enough that I do want to watch it again. You know what? I'm going to draw two Jasons adjacent to each other. Holy shit. Adjacent. I, I already see your fucking... <laughs> your stand, Dad. Ah, fuck. Uh, Spoilers. Spoiler alert. Fuck. That's okay. because you're invading my territory. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, try I'm trying not to look at yours, but I did get a little... I got a little peek. <laughs> a little glimpse. You got a little, like a little sneak peek. I don't know why Stan looks so fucking funny to me. <laughs> Maybe it's because I can't comprehend his face. He he has such a weird shaped head. It really is because it's like you got this little blip. Like it, you can tell that he has just a colossal chin, but then he has like the little blips on the side of his face that is like, is that another chin? Is that his cheek? I don't like. What am I supposed to comprehend here, Seth? You got to clarify your fucking art direction here, bud. Seth, please. But at the same time, like Stan is the perfect like character silhouette. If you just really made him is. like all, if you just saw the silhouette of Stan, you would know that's Stan. Yeah, it's the same with like Peter. Head. Yeah. Because Peter is just, like, so iconic because you got the, like, little blob of the head and then you have the arms off to the side and you have, <laughs> his you have his massive feet right at the bottom. He's, like, a lovable, huggable guy. But the same with his, like, face. If you just drew his face, everyone would immediately know who the fuck you're drawing. Well, I guess I'm drawing Peter now. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I, see it. I like him. I like drawing Peter a lot. He's fun. The Peter is, uh, is he, Jason. He is not a Jason character, although he did do a Subway ad, so, you know. I've been watching nothing but, like, Family Guy and American Dad for the last, like, three weeks. So, I'm probably gonna you mention know, it a lot. You know, funny thing is, uh... Fucking my boyfriend. Yep. He was literally one like Family Guy uh, last night. Oh hell like, yeah! I just got out of the shower and I saw like, like I heard Family Guy and I thought like he was watching his uh, like his brain rot because he he fucking watches YouTube brain rot. <laughs> Dude, I got like uh, auto played into some brain rot last night and I I, lo I woke up from like a fucking cement dead sleep and I was like, what the fuck is playing on my TV? <laughs> like it's staggering dude the YouTube brain run power yeah. to super for watching it but I can't comprehend it I'm too despite being like 22 years old I I can't physically comprehend YouTube brain route nowadays I can't it's just so fucking weird I don't know because a lot of it is just like what if we put the most like Adderall infused shit onto a TV screen and for some reason people are like yes this isn't unbearably terrible like not even like it wasn't even meant for fucking TV. It's meant for like little little iPad kids. And like, and I just realized, and I'm basically just making fun of my boyfriend. I'm sorry, Cameron, <laughs> <laughs> but I still make fun of him like in person. I'm like, dude. I mean, yeah. As long as you're not like, like okay. as long as you're not like making fun of him only behind his back, then that's fine. I make fun of I make fun of Max all the time to the right to their face. Yeah, it's a sign. Like, it's a I sign make fun of, of love. Yeah. It shows that you care. 
by it shows that you pay attention to all their flaws and nothing else. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not true it's make not it true. very apparent okay um, it's not i managed i managed to, to make the peter work in the jason stuff Okay, Second so Jason, so fucking dumb. I'm on my, Ooh. like, third Jason. <laughs> I just got done with my second one. <laughs> uh, um... Alright, would that be it? Uh, if you're- if you're okay with that. I mean, <laughs> shit. Holy shit. That's not Jason. <laughs> that's not- that's not Jason. It's Sands. It's, it's Jason. Jason. J Sand. It's J Sand. Alright, let me look at your fucking Jasons now. Oh my god. I drew a lot the of first Jasons. The one, one on the left looks looks actually beautiful, and then you have Stan Jason, Peter Griffin, and Stan by Jason. <laughs> and he's just like, this is freaking epic. This is freaking epic. This is worse as the time I got stabbed by Jason. Actually, I swear to god, that is like a family guy bit. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah, I just realized there is a <laughs> well, fucking from like family season two or three, there is like an actual family guy bit that's like that, where it's like, this is worse than Jason going to find, finding like a vacation home. It's and just Jason getting it, stabbed by like a little Jason. That's yeah, his right? son. Stabbed in the fucking like leg, no less. <laughs> oh, hey, man. hey, stop it. Stop yeah, stabbing me. Oh, little Billy, come on now. I do like your Sans Jason idea, though, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know, like, I just drew, like, I just wanted to draw, like, a fucked up Jason mask, and then, like, I was like, wait, hold on, this just looks like Sans head, and I do then like, I just drew uh, Sans. I do like your Jason pointing while holding the knife. Yeah. It's like, you, get over here. <laughs> oh, God. It's just, like, not in character at all, because he just, like, kind of walks up to you silently. This one's yeah, just right. like... <laughs> I do also like the, like, terrifying eyeballs. Oh! Bye, it's, Jason. It's everyone's favorite goofy clownster. It's Pennywise the Clown. Yeah, the it clown. Pennywise. Yeah, the IT boy. Yeah. Alright. Like, <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna make a very hilarious right. joke that, like, two people will laugh at. <laughs> Have you seen the new It movies? Uh... Was it... Because I did watch the original one. No, I didn't watch the new one. I just watched the original. It's crazy that the original is like three hours. It's I like know, an right? absurd run time. I kind of like, like the damn. original a little bit more than the than the new one, to be honest. Mm. That's my own subjective thing. Oh, wait, it's not like, it's a... like the new ones with kids, right? Like oh, yeah, the you original have the new one with um, kids, but then... Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. Because, um... I... You remember like the 2016 clown sightings? Were you were you uh, yeah. like conscious around that time? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I there was. was um... <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? You, how old are you? Like fucking 22. <laughs> I'm about to be 23 in like two days. My my guy, I'm I'm literally just a y year younger than you. Uh, fucking. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the reason that I the, the reason that I bring that up is um. I remember seeing some theories, some speculations, from like little map pack game theories kicking around that some people thought that um, the 2016 clown sightings were like promo for the new It movie. Yeah. And I still kind of like believe that to a degree, but at the same time I also just think it was just a bunch of people being assholes. I think it was, yeah. Cause yeah, that like started and then died. You remember earlier how I said that we should like we should be allowed to look up references? I have yet to do that, and I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident I know all of these characters. Yeah. And even if I don't know like what they look like, I I just I'll just draw them like all fucked up. Yeah, right. You'll kind of so draw them based can... on the way that like they sound. Yeah. Or just like character. I think I'm accidentally drawing like evil Jimmy Neutron, but alright. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like Pennywise has like a big old fucking head. Oh well, yeah, the the, the new one does, right? Thing. He's like a fucked up Jimmy Neutron Shakespeare looking motherfucker. I will say, I think um, the new Pennywise is scarier, but the original Pennywise is way funnier, which I think is a key component to being like a clown. Yeah, because like clowns are like they're funny, but they're scary to some people. Yeah, that's the whole thing, right? If you don't make them scary, or if you make them- if you don't make them funny, then it's like, okay... Well, you got the creepiness down, but like, at that point, why make it a clown? Yeah. 
I don't know. Like, I feel like the original one kind of captured, like, the whole fear of clowns oh, thing. Oh, totally. Because like, he looks he fucking looked... terrifying. Yeah, he looks terrifying, but, like, he literally just looks like a clown. But also, he's, like, also really funny. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of... Fu- like, for being a horror movie, there's a lot of funny moments in it. I mean, to be fair, a lot of horror movies back then, it was, like, That's really true. cheesy. There was a there like there, a lot of horror movies back then were also just really funny. Yeah, because I watched Christine not too long ago, the car horror movie. And that one actually had like a lot of really funny moments in it. Like I just love how cheesy, like old, how like old movies just like kind of make characters, because like they're like heavily stereotyped. Yeah, like you got the awesome dude. Bro- nerd and then like the beautiful woman to like use for revenue like ad true because like movies now like they are way more like normal with people now instead of it, them just being stereotypes uh, to the most part at yeah least. but like that you know i'm not gonna lie i think that's kind of boring yeah like i i, I kind of want like the cheesy like 90s and 80s sort of caricatures that's the thing that's funny to me about all these like reboots is like the crow reboot and shit like that is that it kind of forgets why the original was so successful yeah because the crow helped with the fact that it you know it had a lot of like controversy around it right yeah because you know brandon lee fucking died (laughs) (laughs) yeah brandon lee fucking died like i'm not kidding he literally died during the fucking making of that movie God damn! Like and like, I I didn't really hear like I don't really know about the crow all that much. Would you believe if uh, I like, told I you didn't... it was like a superhero movie? No fucking way! It's true. It's based on a DC comic. Because DC is objectively cooler than Marvel. Yeah, like that's a subjective like, thing. DC... I get it, but like DC is way cooler no. than Marvel. No, I'm gonna be real, like, DC just has, like, a bunch of cooler shit. Cause, like, I had a whole moment in time where I thought, like, uh, shit like the Fantastic Four and, uh, X-Men were DC. Cause, like, they You'd just want it to be because like, Marvel is kind of, like, bland and milk toast, but they're not. Yeah. Fantastic like, Four and X-Men are the cool shit that Marvel does that they don't want to do with the Avengers. Yeah. Which, by the way, I still stand like, by the fact that the first two X-Men movies are literally the best superhero movies ever made. Because, like, like they just don't fit with Marvel at all. Because right. Marvel has Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man. Which, you know, I'm but not going to lie, right? Have... All of those are kind of, like, you... goofy, wacky, zany people. And then you have, like, these serious fucking, like, X-Men characters being, like, I'm deeply fucking upset and traumatized. And my life, my childhood was, like, completely fucked up. Yeah, that's exactly why I thought, like, they were DC, like, heroes. Because, yeah, that's literally on brand for DC, because every single character in DC is upsetting to some regard. Right down, right from Batman, right down to the Joker. I drew this big old fucking head, but... Can I just say, right, I think Joker... Joker is one of those characters that gets, like, misrepresented a lot in media. But not because, like, I think he's... Like, not because people like mischaracterize him in the way that like they can mischaracterize most people where it's like oh he's actually just like a soft boy or whatever like most people just say oh well he's a clown prince of crime doing villainy just for villainy's sake but he's kind of like kind of not though doesn't he do it just like to annoy you'd think but like no most interpretations of him he has like a fucking point to make and it's most of the point that he makes is that society is unjust not to be like, we live in a society, but like, it's literally that, that. That is the perfect culmination of Joker's character. Is that there is something deeply wrong with society, and his entire point is to try and change it. Obviously, the problem comes in is that he tries to change it for his own image, but, uh... Yeah. Sheep at Society doesn't want me to have a low pony. <laughs> But I say society is broken. a girl kisses a guy, it's perfectly fine. But if I'm a guy, I kiss a guy, I'm called a homosexual. <laughs> makes sense of that, Batman. Think about it, Batman. Joker, that just makes you gay. No, it doesn't, Batman. I just want to kiss a guy. 
If I kiss I a guy, like Batman, I'm kissing all the girls he's ever kissed. But if I kiss a girl, Batman, then I'm kissing every guy she's ever been with. <laughs> Which one makes you gay? Uh, Batman sits gay? there tied up to a chair just like... Uh, I don't know I don't know. Know. Joker, I don't understand. <laughs> you, your, your logic is kind of <laughs> brainwashed. No, and then Robin comes in and be like, "Ah, yeah, Batman, I think Joker actually has kind of, kind of makes like a point though." Um, Shut the fuck up, Robin. Go die again. <laughs> and then he just withered like fucking like Ash babies. <laughs> All right, well I'm done with my stupid. Hold on, I'm almost done. I'm gonna draw the Jimmy Neutron logo on this. The Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> All right, there you go. I fucking drew Jimmy Neutron as Pennywise. All right, let me let me see this beautiful, full lad. Oh my god. <laughs> he, looked, he does look like fucking Jimmy Neutron. I, I remember vaguely that he had like weird spider legs in the new movie, so I also added those. I just kind of drew mine like kind of like the class. <laughs> he looks like uh, a mix of Pennywise and like those killer clowns from outer space. Oh my god, yeah. I just re <laughs> Holy shit though. That's good. Because like uh, all I can really re like, I don't really know what the newer one looks like. I just remember like, he looks like w less like a clown and more like one of those um, Harlequin dolls. Yeah. Which I don't know. Not really oh, yeah, a clown. The little eye things. Yeah. Because like all I can really remember is like the classic one because he he's, he literally is just a clown. Yeah. With nothing else. Something else I do distinctly remember is that the new one his eyes like drift apart because he's like kind of stupid or something. <laughs> He may be stupid, yeah. If Pennywise didn't want to die, why didn't he just eat the kids? Is he stupid? <laughs> why did he have to torment the kids instead of just straight up killing them? Is he right? stupid? He, he spent like years, theoretically, just eating children straight up. Why was it like this group of like six or seven dumbass kids that he was just like, nah, you know what? I think I'm going to do something different. I think I'm going to fuck with these guys. <laughs> and then they like banished him to hell. Yeah, right, and then I'll have, like, a weird fucked-up sex orgy at the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Stephen King, what the fuck was up with that? What does Stephen King mean, mean by that? <laughs> uh, uh, who's, who's next up on the, uh... uh the wheel, the wheel says that we're gonna draw Dracula now, from Dracula. the movie Dracula. Well, wow, really? Yeah. I thought it was Dracula from... <laughs> from Hotel Transylvania. I mean, you can if you want to. He is Dracula. Yeah, he, he stole Dracula, but he does not go bleh bleh bleh. No, he does not. He distinctly does not go bleh bleh bleh. He says that many times throughout all three movies. Yeah. All four movies? How many Transylvania movies are there? Dude, all I remember, there was like one. All I, I remember is one. one. I didn't know there was four. <laughs> all I vaguely oh, I remember... I know there's two. I've seen, the, I've seen two of them. Yeah, I think I've saw the second one. I like I lied. Oops, I lied. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh oh. Uh, I, I do remember like all I really remember was just like, uh, you are banging my wife <laughs> you banging my uh ah, daughter. Jonathan, you are <laughs> banging my wife. <laughs> 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 no. Ah, ha, ha, Jonathan, you're banging my daughter, that's it. I like yeah, the idea of Jonathan yeah. banging his wife instead. <laughs> his dead wife I think she's dead. I mean that's kind of a that's what it implies, right? Yeah. Also, yes, I am drawing Dracula. One of them. Like the class. One of the many Draculas that are out there in media. There are plentiful Draculas. What's your favorite interpretation so, of Dracula? Uh. Hmm, that's a good question. Because uh, I don't really watch all that much. All I really remember was like the classic one and then like the Hotel Transylvania one <laughs> I mean that's really all you gotta pay attention to whichever one yeah. Christopher Lee did is my favorite yeah just just by default on account of it's fucking Christopher Lee you know you can't really go wrong yeah. with Saruman and also Count Dooku Saruman the stinky Saruman the stinky what Saruman, Saruman the, the wrinkly Saruman the stinky Saruman the Stinky! Ah! I showed that to my mom and my mom fucking lost it. She loves that. She showed that to like everyone she knew. She's 
fucking crazy to me because like usually I don't show my mom shit out of the fear that she's gonna like submit me to a hospital of some kind. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like a lot of strange things. Yeah, same. Like, <clears throat> this is a funny little story, but uh, my mom did find my uh my Twitter account. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. And uh, fucking. It was because, like, I had artwork that was showcased in a, uh, in, like, this little website. I was like, oh, that's cool. Why not show my mom? Because, you know, I'm proud of this. And then I showed her, and, uh, she fucking, like, basically, like, looked into it and saw my Twitter and followed me on there. On her, like, actual personal account. Yeah. I was like, oh, God, no. The, the, it was like vomiting on some of my posts. I'm like, no, 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 that's bad. No. Yeah, my mom follows my Twitter account. She's been following my Twitter account for years, and she like, for a long, for 15 years, she hadn't used Twitter, and now she's come back. And I'm like, oh god, I'm so sorry for the just garbage that I post on Twitter. <sighs> I don't remember what he wears. Does he wear like one of those lapels, like those cow lapel things? I don't remember. If- I just know that he, like, wears that, uh, that fucking high-collared thing. Like the, his little cloak. You're fu- oh, has. you're right, actually, he does. I don't know which one you're drawing, but my the one that I'm drawing does too, actually. To be honest, I'm just kind of... <laughs> just drawing something stupid. Some stupid little vampire. I'm dr- I'm gonna just go out uh, and say that I'm drawing a very specific iteration of of Dracula, a very tasty, delicious iteration of of Dracula. <gasps> is it Count Chocula? Uh, shut up. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I love Count Chocula. How can I not draw him? I don't know if Kate told you this, but there was one point in time I can't remember what the fuck we were watching a Nick Cage movie. I don't remember which one. One of them, and. We had this, like, me, Kate, and Conville had this, like, fucking running joke of, like, bringing up Count Chocula, doing all sorts of shit. <laughs> like, you'd have to ask Kate about it, because I don't remember it exactly, but, like, actually, maybe better ask Conville about something like that. He has a way better memory than me and Kate do. But, yeah, fuck. We were just, like, constantly making, like, we had, th- that running bit of Count Chocula was fucking slaying us the entire movie. Because I think, like, there was like a scene where the kid was eating Count Chocula or something. Like some kind of fucking chocolatey cereal that one of us was like, is that Count Chocula? I still think the best moment that I've ever had watching a movie with Kate was when I was showing Kate and Conville space balls for the very first time. Oh my god. And Please Kate, tell me they liked her. They did. They loved it. But Kate oh, had herself you. muted for like 90% of the runtime of the movie. <laughs> and didn't fucking know because me and Conville were making like comments during the movie that sounded like responses to what Kate was saying. Oh my god. So, Kate didn't realize until um, the very end where um, the gang gets awarded for their efforts. Oh man. Uh, I love Kate, but she is, has the intelligence of a fucking goldfish sometimes. And it's so funny too, just thinking like... yeah, Like, y'all didn't even bother checking up like... <laughs> the funny part is like, that me and Convo were both at several points like... Like, at, at various points... We were both thinking to ourselves, is Kate okay? She hasn't said anything ever. Like, she is never this quiet for this long. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's great that you can tell when Kate's, like, either muted herself or just missing because she, like, never shuts the fuck up. I've actually, I don't think I've ever had seen Count Chocula in my stores. I don't even know what it's like. I don't even know if it's good. Uh, I never personally had it. I just know it exists. I was like, it's one of those things that it looks like it'd be fucking delicious. Oh, speaking of delicious chocolatey cereals, um, my local save on my local grocery store has been stocking this like Wednesday brand cereal. Mm -hmm. And for being like licensed to tie in food, it's actually fucking delicious because it's like chocolate. It's like Nesquik mixed with Lucky Charms. And it's actually fucking like unbelievably delicious yeah genuinely it's like one of the best ones that I've ever had in terms of because I feel like I feel like store brand stuff can be good 
It's just like sometimes you just like miss completely. They're either I mean, really yeah. good or man, I cannot stand this shit. Like I swear by um store bought like store brand chicken strips right for lunch because it's super easy they're cheap as fuck and they're like typically just delicious enough that you can shovel them in your mouth without any problems yeah but yeah that um that Wednesday brand cereal is pretty fucking delicious the fuck oh wait oh wait no I made a spelling error don't look uh but I liked Abraham Lincoln Lincoln no and call <laughs> but yeah like I don't know why whenever you mentioned Dracula I thought of the I, I thought of that uh, movie about like Abraham Be- Lincoln being a vampire killer <laughs> what is the name of that movie I vaguely remember it I forgot hold on yeah I think it quite literally is just A- Abraham Lincoln vampire killer that's fun as fuck. Yeah, it literally is. It's just wow. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. You're kidding me. It's both a book and a movie. And I'm pretty sure the movie is based on the book. I mean, probably. The chance that two people separately had the idea is, like... <laughs> Jeez, they really will just turn anyone and anything into, like, vampire media. But it was it's so fucking oh, funny. Oh, fuck it, that explains it. It's a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking insane. Either way, there's, there's my drawing of Count Chocula and also Charlie Smiling Friends as a vampire. <laughs> Prim, Prim, I got bit by, by my vampire girlfriend. Oh my, oh my god, Charlie, are you okay? Are you here? Do you need to go to hospital, Charlie? No, Pip. Uh, I think I'll be okay, fine. Okay. No, it's just it's just allergies, Pip. It's fine. Uh, uh, are you sure, Are you sure, Charlie? You, you're kind Charlie, of burning up. You should up probably go to the hospital. <laughs> That doesn't look Charlie. very good, Charlie. Charlie, you should probably go to the hospital. You're not really, you're not really doing so hot in the heat. Uh, Charlie's just super easy to draw. It's basically, like drawing psychic pebbles above a hat. You think that was by choice? You think that was by design? Probably. You think Charlie is just a self-insert? I think he is. I'm just saying he has the same color palette in terms of like his clothes have the same color palette as they do. Uh, as as Zack does in Hellbenders. Oh my god, he does! I'm just- I'm just fucking saying. I'm drawing like, there's a correlation there, and I'm not sure Zack would like me pointing it out. Zack's like, shh, shh. Zack's like, don't let him know. Zack DMs me, just like, you gotta shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Ooh, the man in the mask, Michael Myers. Um, oh, Michel okay, Mayo. I need to look up a reference picture for this one. I have a fucking amazing joke. Yeah, because he's like a, he's just like some big buff dude in a jumpsuit. Yeah, and yeah, mask. basically, and then like a spray painted Captain Kirk mask. Yeah, it's all white. Yeah, right. Will this joke be understood by the normal person? I don't know. Do I care? Not particularly. Will you understand it? Probably. Maybe. I may, in fact, understand your joke. <laughs> That voice caught me off guard for a minute, and I was like, but that activated my flight or fight response. <laughs> Why? I have no fucking idea. You uh, see, <laughs> I don't know what I was going with that. That was good. That was good. That was good, old folks. It's just like, disintegrated. Alright, this joke is totally not fucking translating at all, but like, listen, it'll be fine. I'll figure out a way. I mean, if you get the joke just based off of what I'm fucking doing, then like, hell yeah, party on. Sure, hope I get the joke just so you're not like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. I'm, gonna, I'm probably actually, I'm gonna be like, Brad, Brad, you can cut this if you don't get the joke. Brad, you can cut the joke, right? You can put the joke and you just don't cut it. I think it'd make it funnier, but at the same time, I'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't really be- I really can't believe that, like, there's been, like, a bajillion million fucking Halloween movies. Yeah. It's, like, crazy to me. Especially when you take into consideration that apparently- I don't know how true this is, but apparently the original movie was just meant to be, like, a one-off thing for Michael Myers, and it was supposed to be, like, a new killer every iteration. Yeah. But then they were like, we like Mike too much, so, like, let's keep him. Let's keep Mike, he's awesome song. Which, I mean, Michael is a cool-ass character, but he is definitely one of those things that I'd probably like more if he was, like, a one-and-done kind of thing. 
Yeah. That's me personally. He kind of is just that. Like, he's like, basically just like Jason. He's basically just Jason, but like, he goes around a neighborhood. I yeah. Think. Instead of just like a beachfront property. Yeah. Because he'd like drowned in it. Drown in it. Also, like, oh wait, no, it was Jason's, uh, like, actor that was like immensely huge. It was like seven foot something. Yeah, right. Which, by the way, um, I don't know fucking if Kate's told you this, but like, sleep is like almost seven feet tall. Yeah. She That's told me. fucking insane. Especially when seven you take into consideration that like, Kate's like five foot seven. Yeah, like, fucking sleep towers over Kate. Dude, sleep more than just towers, dude. Kate could mech sleep. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. As fucked as it is no. to say. Oh, it's not even fucking. This is funny. It's just like mech and night. That, that one mech girlfriend that you just kind of fuck with. Right? It's like the hot new anime, My Mech Girlfriend. Oh my, that's, that would actually be an anime. Right. But like, instead of the girl being like a cool mech, it's like an, like a just big anime woman. Alright, I'm gonna add some fucking color to my piece, cause I'm a big old boy. Oh, you're a big boy. Yeah, fucking. I'm a big old boy, cause I, I think the joke will be lost if I don't add color to this. No, I saw on, uh, I saw on Twitter, somebody First saying mistake. like, <laughs> my worst mistake I've ever made in my life. <laughs> I love like, doing I that. I love, pull out, I love pulling out, like, someone tries to start a story and I'm just like, okay, well, first mistake. That first mistake. I caught Kamal off guard with that once, because he was like, I was reading a webcomic earlier today, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And he, that caught him off guard for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you just stunned him. Yeah, right, I just fucking, like, comboed him, basically. He just didn't know how to respond to that. But then he told me, like, the story, and it was, like, a really not that... I didn't really care for it, because I don't care. <laughs> you don't care about Kamal. <laughs> no, I do. I do. It sounds terrible, but I do. Um, it's just that I don't really care about his, like, webcomic antics, you know? <laughs> like, in the same way that I don't expect him to care about, like, oh, well, I was on YouTube today, perusing the fucking web, and I found this terrible video. And, like, I know he kind of checks out whenever my mouth starts moving. So, like... But yeah. Imagine he's like actually fully listening. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like mm -hmm. listening intently, just like, I can't wait to hear what my best friend Brett is gonna say next. And then I like he watches this video and I'm he's like, he doesn't fucking care at all. Yeah. He's gonna get into your DMs, he's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> he gets into my DMs and he's like, What the fuck, man? I thought we were besties. You're like, sorry, we're like, worsties. <laughs> we're worsties. That's, I feel like that's what me and Kate are, to be honest. Yeah, y'all literally are. Like, whenever I'm with you, I'm her worstie. Really? She fucking would hate, like... That's hilarious. Yeah. Just, but, like, just the presence of me brings down your friend's score in her eyes by, like, a significant margin. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just, like, joining in on you with bits and All she's just, stupid like, fucking things. tired of it. Yeah. Kate has a Kate has very little patience for me. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and yet she but still she's likes cool. to hang out with me. Yeah. Which I think is the funnier part by a wide margin. She just she just kinda tolerates you. She tolerates me for the like entertainment value that I occasionally bring to the table. God damn, I'm actually like kinda fucking cooking with this though, not gonna lie. It's maybe like one of the best rough sketches I've ever done on the show. Yeah. Wow. I know, I'm so braggadocious. Like, there's no joke with mine, it's just like a, a beautiful, <laughs> handsome Michael Myers. I, I, I have faith, I have not seen anything about it. Mine is a very... good good joke. It's a very haha. -ha. It'll make me go hee hee. That's pretty funny, Brad. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> on Fox, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna like cancel the show and kill myself if you don't laugh, but I will cancel the show and kill myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm fucking around, I'm fucking around, that's not true. Okay, yeah, I quite literally just drew Michael Myers as a handsome, handsome I mean, to be boy. fair, the first the Jason drawing that I did, the first time I drew him, I was just like drawing him. It was like no joke. The punchline was just that I, I like Jason as a character. Yeah. 
I think he's one of my favorite slashers. Right next to like Frederick the Kruger, of course. In in my town, there is a place called Elm Street. Oh yeah, I mean my that's probably where it was did. based on. No, because I think there was like yeah, I think there's like multiple Elm, Elm Streets. Street. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say there's probably like multiple Elm Streets. But, like my dad hated uh, <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth because of that. Oh really? I mean I get that, yeah, but also like because he because he lived near like. As a kid, as a wee little lad, he lived near a as place a wee, called Elm Street. As a wee baby boy? Yeah, as a wee, a wee baby. A weed baby. A weed baby? Yeah, weed baby. It's a dangerous kind of baby to have. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really have that much to do with fucking Michael Myers. I just kind of drew him beautiful. I'm done. Yeah, I guess Are I'm done, done too. I can't, I can't really add any more without, like, turning this into a full-fledged art piece. Yeah. All right, you want to see my? Holy shit, that's boy. actually a really nice Michael Myers. He's like yeah, a, Drew. he's like a pretty anime boy. Yeah, Drew has handsome Squidward. Handsome Squidward. That's dating sim. Mike Myers. That's dating sim Mike Myers. Dating sim Mike Myers. Uh, and, yeah, you could you could come see my my tiny yeah, little yeah. Mike Myers. Sabatilic baby. Because <laughs> he's Michael Myers. I drew his Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, he is. He fucking is. I was like, wait, hold on. I don't remember him having that on him. I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> That's fucking Austin Powers. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I got a good idea. You did it. I did. I got the joke. Yay! I'm not going to kill myself. <laughs> kill, kill myself. This one's oh, postponed. Fuck. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, that's that's what I had to look up the reference picture for. I had to look up a picture of Austin Powers to be like, okay, I need to draw him right, otherwise the joke's gonna fall so fucking flat. <laughs> but man, you I'm actually to, like proud of that though. You know what? That's thumbnail. That's thumbnail material. Make yeah, that what thumbnail. It very well might be. Should we draw the Xenomorph? I was thinking about just that. Just I, you know like, what? Yeah, just to like end this yeah. off. All right, well, dude, did he? Hold on, I saw like this video of like the someone edited over the uh, the scene. Where the little chest baby came out, <laughs> they gave him like the homunculus from Smiling Friends. Oh bit, my where fucking like, god! Yeah, really? Friday. Are you kidding? Yeah. That's fucking real. Yeah. I Holy I need shit. to find that. I need to find that video again. Oh my god! If you do send that like, to me. Out. He he just like burst out, says, "Stop fighting!" Stop Whenever fighting! Little... <laughs> and while it's crawling away, it's just <laughs> it's just the little homunculus laughing. It's just. <laughs> Did you see those um, <laughs> posts about the alien head popcorn bucket and then the dune sand sandworm bucket? Wait, what? Uh, you know, like there's been like this recent trend of like hot, funny popcorn bucket guys. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, for Romulus, right? They released a alien head popcorn bucket. Yeah. And yeah, my friend really wanted that. <laughs> back when like Dune Part Two or whatever released, they put out like the the dune sandworm oh, yeah. where it's just the mouth that you can stick your hand into, right? Yeah. One of the very first things I saw after the alien head popcorn bucket was revealed was someone being like, Oh, guys, stick the alien uh, head in the dune sandworm. They like hey, the penis in the vagina. It's like the penis <laughs> in yeah, the right, ass. Man, like, I get it. I get the joke. Funny. XD, uh, I lol. Uh -huh, <laughs> that sounds I super condescending, but also to sound completely condescending. Yeah. I don't know how to fuck draw a fucking xenomorph. <laughs> I got a big bulbous head and a scrawny skeletal body with okay. a little big old tail. Okay. I'll draw, I'll draw no, exactly what you described then. Yeah, yeah, do that. <laughs> Please draw that and then like draw like a natural alien. Do you believe in no, aliens on Fox? I kind of I kind of want to, but I've not seen any substantial evidence. I mean, they're probably out there, but they're like at the very least at at the very most like as technical technologically advanced as us like we they do have rocket ships but they don't have like ftl yeah i don't think i don't think like i don't think we're going to see like a xenomorph out in space i mean we might I, it'd be nice like, but like truthfully right based on like the way that evolution has taught us i feel like if we're to see aliens they're going to look like crabs yeah crabs are like snails or some shit <laughs> Could you imagine we go to space and we just see the slug woman from Monsters, Inc.? <laughs> there's Nine definitely people out there. Like, listen, there's some people out there who'll be like, yeah, hell yeah. 
Love that woman. I mean, I guarantee you, yeah, there is. Fun little fact that you may or may not know. Uh, like, the Alien movie, like, the Alien design uh, was literally just like... Just like H.R. Uh, Geiger's fetish. I don't, I don't know if that. I like, don't believe you. It. That no, that does not like sound actually, real. Like actually, you can look it up. Like I know that E.T. was supposed to look more like a xenomorph, but like that. No, I I can't buy that. The xenomorph is just H.R. Geiger's fetish. I mean, you can look it up. You can you can fucking GTS that. You know what? I'm gonna take your word for it. But if people start commenting, that's not real, Brad. I can't believe you fell for that, you dumbass. I'm gonna fucking kill you myself. <laughs> I'm gonna come down to Flo Rida and kill you myself, wherever the fuck you Flo are. Flo Rida! <laughs> Flo Rida! <laughs> like, how Rida! Drew beautiful head, but my god. Like, I draw heads way too fucking big, big, and then I can't draw the full body. You should become, like, a me artist, then. Just draw everyone as me's. <laughs> True. Cause like Mies have like big bulbous that's, heads. That's one like, thing I fucking hate about the Mies is that their heads are massive, so you can never really get the scaling right. Yeah. And it's funny too, cause you have a fucking me as your profile picture. In I this. do. I have Funko Pop as my profile icon. <laughs> Funko Pop. Yeah. All right. That's that's the exact literal xenomorph uh, drawn based on your description. You're quite li- Did you just move him over? Yes. Oh my god. Actually, that is kind of close. To you a natural that? xenomorph. Yeah, yeah, actually, he just you're kind of doesn't right. have eyes. Like, a xenomorph just doesn't have eyes, and yeah, that's- Yeah, that's basically a xenomorph. Hell yeah. This is gonna sound super controversial, right? But I've never seen an alien movie. <gasps> you never saw, like, the classic one either? I've never seen an alien movie. The closest thing I've gotten to the alien franchise is playing Alien Isolation with Ash. Oh, I mean, that's still a good experience. Though. I mean, it's a fantastic experience. It fucking terrifies the shit out of me, and I can't, I can't actually play it. It's way too scary. It's way too intense for me. But it is yeah, a lot of fun like, playing with a friend. Because, like, surprisingly enough, like, the Aliens movie is, like, the... It's, like, the closest thing the 80s got to, like, making something actually scary instead of something, like, super cheesy. I mean, you're right. But also... There's like a couple of things that are actually like kind of terrifying from the 80s. Like? Uh, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> Here I was like, uh, I actually want to try to defend the 80s and then I just couldn't think of anything. <laughs> all, like everything you thought of, you're like, oh wait, no. No, I was that's, like, no, that's of... actually all, all only cheese. Like I thought of like maximum overdrive, which is nothing but cheese. No, uh, Christine, yeah, that... which is nothing but cheese. Yeah, uh, every slasher movie, which was nothing but cheese. Okay, to be honest, I don't really know what the alien tail looks like. <laughs> um, all I remember is it kind of looks like it's a like demon tail. Spindly. Yeah, it's like all spiny. Yeah, I kind of I, I drew my xeno my actual attempt at like a xenomorph in like Chad perspective, where it's like the side profile. Yeah, same here. <laughs> now I have a fucking good idea. Do you plan on watching the uh, Alien Romanus? At some point in my life, yes. I have like a long list of fucking things that people are demanding that I watch first. Yeah. Like how I demand you to play uh, Pseudo Regalia. You have me fucking wanting to play. Uh, you want me to play Pseudo Regalia. Kate wants me to play One Shot. <laughs> like, dude, I, I have too much on my fucking plate. I'm playing Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all, I'm playing Luigi's Mansion. I mean, it's true though, that's what I've been playing a lot recently. Luigi's Mansion and Animal Crossing. I mean, just like, play what you want to. Oh yeah. But I mean, just as a- as- because I want to be like a good friend, I do want to actually like, play the shit that people recommend me. Because nine times out of ten, I do actually like it. Yeah. It's just like, you don't really have that much time. I don't have that much time or like, spare money lying around. Yeah. But I will- I will get around to both of them. This is a good. This was a good idea on my end. Yeah. I'm sure it's not going to backfire in any way on me. I will say I, I've seen a lot of like I've seen a lot about the original Alien movie. Right. A lot of what? I've seen a lot about the original Alien movie, and I do really, really like a lot of the like design, the actual physical design of the alien. 
Like the fact that it's like biotechnical shit. Oh yeah, I fucking love biotech. That's why that's mainly why I got into Warframe, because I'm like, wow, these designs are kinda wacky but also kinda cool. I mean there's this one game on Steam called Garage Bad Dream Adventure, which is entirely biotechnical shit. Shit. It was actually lost media for a long time. Really? <laughs> yeah, because um it was like distributed on like fucking CD ROMs in Japan or some shit. And then people yeah. only just recently found out it had like an English translation iOS port. And then they'd like harass the developers to put it on Steam until they did. They're like, okay, more money for us. You know that Voice of the Void game that me and Kate are like super into? Yeah, I, I'm tempted to play it. It's super really good. Want. You should really look at getting into it when the uh, big 8.0 update comes out, because that's gonna like. Because I've been playing the beta for it, and it's, uh, it's gonna be super easy to get into. Because right mm -hmm. now it's kind of super obtuse. Yeah. But, like, it's gonna add, like, a menu and, like, a more thorough tutorial mm. for how to do shit. And, like, yeah. it actually explains a fuck ton of the systems. I do recommend getting into it. It's actually really fun. It's, like, exactly kind of what I want, like, all those monotonous task simulation games to be. I'm gonna draw a face hugger. Yeah. A little face hugger. I will say, right, um, have you ever played Resident Evil 4? Oh yeah, with Leon. Yeah, the um, the Las Plagas when they're in their like spider forms are you very emblematic of um Las of um face huggers. Yeah, which I kind of want to get the uh, the Las Plagas symbol tattooed on the body somewhere. Hell yeah! Just because I like it. I, it's such a cool symbol. Yeah, I have a lot of tattoo ideas. I also do. Like, I want to get the uh, Dark Sigil on my hand. Dark Sigil? From uh, Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dark Souls. You're the second person that's told me that they want to get, like, a Soulsborne tattoo, because my partner also wants to get the uh, the Bloodborne Hunter's mark on the inside of their arm. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Let me see. I actually got them Bloodborne recently, and, like, they still haven't, haven't played it, because it's one of those games they need to be in the mindset for. Yeah. Like like after I after play... playing Bloodborne um, myself on the channel for a bit, I, I can say I get it completely. Yeah. It's definitely a mindset kind of game. I don't know, have you been trying out any new shit recently on Fox? Uh, there was Pseudo Regalia, of course. That, that game was on, like, even though I've never played, like, any, uh, any sort of retro game, it, it, it kind of felt like I played one. Yeah. I mean, I'd probably get more out of it, just on the basis that I do play a lot of, like, retro shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel, like, it honestly just, like, from what I've heard, because, like, I did play a bit of Majora's Mask, because my, my friend did lend me his, uh, Switch whenever I went through, uh, surgery. Oh, yeah. So then I, like, I did play, like, a little bit of, like, shit like Majora's Mask and all that. Cause I wasn't really a Nintendo Nintendo kid all that much. See, my mom was, so by as a result, I was. Yeah. Which is why, I, like, yeah, I like Nintendo games, but I think Nintendo's yeah. kind of a shitty company. Yeah. But to be to be fair, to be a Nintendo fan online, you have to have that mindset, otherwise you get berated the fuck out of. Yeah. You can't at all say anything positive about Nintendo the company, otherwise people will chastise you for it. Yeah. I'll still say that Nintendo is producing some of the most unique and fun games on the market still. Yeah. Like, Nintendo definitely do, like, make unique stuff. It's just a matter of their community management is deplorable. Terrible. <laughs> Fucking dog shit, you could say. Yeah. And I mean, I've been, I feel like insane. I've been pretty vocally against Nintendo's community, community management, and every time something has happened, I've always been like, bruh, come the fuck on, you're making it hard to like you. Uh, but, uh, I'm basically I still... done with alien shit. You think you're done? Yeah, I All just right. kind of drew a face hugger and a bunch of aliens. I mean, that's the same, but I also drew the Predator. <laughs> no, you can't win. Yes, I can! <laughs> I like how you drew, drew, like, a normal alien. Yeah. Well, this has been a very eventful day. Yeah. Had a lot of fun, and we might come back to the whole horror 
I think it's... we will. I think we definitely will. Because we still have like a lot more icons that we can draw. Yeah. We still got we still got ghost face. We got Fred we got the Kruger. ring woman that I forgot her name. Oh fuck, Sadako. I completely forgot about her. Yeah, Sadako. <laughs> Why are you drawing like a fucking nerd? Oh, it's me. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Uh, maybe. Totally not drawing you as like a fucked up creature. I'm gonna draw you as a fucked up creature. Draw you like a little slug. So, just me then? Yeah, you're... I'm a, like an actual slug creature in real life. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna draw you holding the pseudo Grigalia weapon. The little... little cross... thingy. And that is what it looks like? Yeah, it's like a... it's like a cross. It goes like... Oh, that's right, it is a cross. Boosh, 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 and it has this little circle and goes boosh, boosh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, that. like there's that. like this little little circle in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I love Pseudo Regalia. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Venaria. <laughs> I fucking love goat women. I fucking love science. <laughs> oh, when Mr. Bosch screamed that at the end of that episode, I was fucking so happy. I was like, hell yeah. Um. Do you have anything you want to say? Uh, follow fellow bread he is awesome. You should subscribe and like and kiss Brad on the lips. Don't do that. I have a partner. Okay. Uh, give him a little titty squeeze. There we Can go. That's better. That? Yeah. There we go. Here. Hold on. Let me. Oh wait. I'm I can't draw titties. titties. My bad. I can't draw you like big, big old biddies. Listen, these are man tits. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> I totally didn't see that. <laughs> you draw me with big old biddies. Can you blame me? Look. So Damn. attractive. I look so fucking high. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, future bread, cut it. End it on that. <laughs> Good. It is. It's so fucking I'm hilarious. Love smiling for And uh, other fun things such as uh, what what the fuck is that <laughs> what the fuck is that he's got a big old bulbous head bro he looked like a fucking sock <laughs> <laughs> no he's, he's, just, he's just pissed off man i mean 